Hey, we got an FZ09 here. I might have to give me one of them FZ09s. Hey, check this out, guys. We out here on the real west side of Cleveland. West side? I'm going to tell you guys the number one reason why you shouldn't buy an Indian motorcycle. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. We got some honeys out here, boy. Look at here, look at here, look at here. I was seriously thinking about buying that um, Indian FTR 1200 that's coming out but I'm gonna tell you guys it looks awesome and man I really want to buy that bike if it looks anywhere near uh, looking like the prototype bike which I think it probably won't be <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you guys that um, the uh, somebody brought to my attention and I forgot that you know Polaris which owns Indian brand of motorcycles and they used to own Victory they disbanded Victory they had just come out with a Victory Octane motorcycle which I had actually planned to buy if you go look at my top five cruiser videos I felt there were some of the awesome cruiser motorcycles which number one was my Ducati X Diablo S before I actually even bought it top five number one Let's get to the point, baby. Ducati X Diablo just came out not too long ago. Absolutely awesome looking bike and even has the performance to match. It kind of blurs the line between a super sport and a cruiser. Oh! Uh, but the Octane was high up on my list. But number five on my list a new bike that just came out recently and it looks absolutely sick is the Victory Octane and uh, and it's a fantastic bike I, a lot of uh, motor vloggers I've seen that own that bike they praise the bike it's a fantastic bike but Polaris goes and discontinues the Victory brand so you know what after like 10 years They'll probably, parts will be really hard to come by. I'll uh, probably be very expensive to get, man. Not only that, um, you know, the Victory bikes are probably, they lost their resale value, a lot of the resale value. I'm sure those bikes can be had for a little or nothing now, even the uh, Victory Octane. Um, and like I said, the parts will be completely discontinued or produced minimally, where it'll be really expensive because of supply and demand a lot of people will probably get rid of their their victory bikes and uh because it's the discontinued so there won't be a a huge uh market for the the used parts so the part prices go up you know supply versus demand and what if you know polaris decides to end indian like that i go and buy that indian ft tar 1200 and next thing you know that sap sucker is discontinued you know what I'm saying? I'd be really pissed off. I really don't trust Polaris, man. I tell you guys, I don't. I don't like what they did to the Victory brand, man. I think that's absolute BS. And uh, it's a shame, man. It really is a shame because I know a lot of people that that really love the Victory brand, and uh, they love their bikes. But I guess they just weren't selling enough of them and they just had to disband that brand uh, under their umbrella brand of motorcycles. And um, I don't like the way they did that, man. So I don't know. What do you guys think, man? Do you trust Polaris after what they did to Victory? You, do you think I should buy that Indian FTR 1200 if it's sick, even though Victor, you know, even though Polaris ended that... Uh, the victory brand and could do so with indian although i don't think they'll do that with the indian brand just because indian brand has been out for so since damn near with it over a century since the 1900s i think he up there if not before harley davidson or around the same time they've been out forever um so i in my opinion it would be really 
I can't see them ending that brand though. That's what motivates me to still get the Indiana uh, FTR 1200. So, but I don't know, man. I don't, I, like I said, I've lost respect for Polaris for screwing over, you know, victory like that. Woo! Look at that quick blast. Feels good, baby. <laughs> the CBI 1000 double R. But, uh, I don't know, guys. But I want to hear your feedback on this. That's why I do these videos, man. I want to get your feedback. And uh, I'm very, I'm a very careful buyer when it comes to buying motorcycles. As a lot of you guys know, it takes me a long time uh, to buy a motorcycle because I really take my time with it. I research, um, and I feel I did well by buying the Ducati X Diablo S because that's an absolutely unique and amazing bike that I've had really no trouble with, except for that rear Brembo brake, which was a Brembo issue and not the Ducati issue. Um, Amazing, absolutely awesome bike. I'm really glad that I bought that bike, even though I'm not gonna keep it probably that long. Like I said, told you guys, like when the warranty get, gets ready to end, then I'll probably put it up for sale. But, I don't know guys, it's hard to trust some of these, <laughs> these non-Japanese motorcycle brands out there, except for the like BMW and you know, uh, Triumph, you know, well-known, European brands and, and the Japanese brands have been around a long time and pretty much stay true to their bikes. Uh, what? I don't know, guys. Check it out. We got Cleveland here, baby. Downtown Cleveland. Too bad LeBron, he left us, man. He sold us out like Polaris sold out victory. <laughs> Disbanded, should I say. Disbanded Cleveland. He just left us man how you gonna leave us bro but anyways for those of you guys that always ask me for my gear where did i get my gear i always include links to my gear in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and those are a bunch of links to all my gear cameras everything and for those of you guys that want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with my nearly over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through them to find what you're looking for hopefully to inform you or entertain you i appreciate all you guys hey hit thumbs up it really helps me get motivated to do more videos when you hit thumbs up uh, shows appreciation for me which i really appreciate all you guys um, and I, like I said, this channel is all about talking about motorcycle stuff, motivating people to get a motorcycle, and uh, just anything and everything motorcycles, dirt, cruiser, super bike, scooters, all of it, baby. I love it all. But anyways, guys, subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel, and also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto that showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.